take a look back then at the highlights of the race. And off the line, it looks as if it might not be Nassani's day. Snewing sideways and conceding the lead to Pietro Fittipaldi into turn one. As Fittipaldi outbreaks himself, Nassani emerged in the lead as behind the fight for second got very lively. And even more so for Igor Yurchov as he ran wide through the second Lesmo. It's a largely clean race, but Giuseppe Cipriani having a big spin into the Retrofilio, from which he was fortunate to avoid damaging the car. René Binder was one of the drivers on the charge after a disappointing first lap. He was looking to side through the field. As for Tom Dillman, it's a very odd day. After initially putting together a spurt of pace, he then had to pit in, potentially for a puncture or some other issue. He rejoined the fray, but finished down in 12th position. Some brilliant dicing lower down the order as Nassani and Delatraz stretched their legs at the front of the field. The best dice of all was the one for fourth between Aurelien Panis and René Binder. The efforts of the Frenchman were absolutely formidable as he was able to keep Binder behind him lap after lap. The Austrian tried to find a way past. Disappointment late on for Bates Gavista, spinning out of contention with Ascari. Roy Nassani led almost every metre. And he claimed his third victory of the season and one that puts him right back into the championship fight. Louis Delatraz finished in second and Mathieu Vaxivier completing the podium. But today was all about Nassani and Lotus.